In front of a record-setting crowd, the Trojans once again racked up offensive yards, but were plagued by penalties and turnovers and suffered their second straight loss, losing 30-24 to against Mississippi State. We, uh, we had plenty of chances to win this game. It really it makes it hurt even more. I am not the least bit discouraged except for the fact that that, you know, the turnovers. You know, you, you, can't, you can't win with four turnovers. Well, it's a game you should have won, that we could have won. You know, we just uh, put an end to all the penalties and the mistakes and, you know, all the foolishness out on the field. After being down 23-7 to at halftime, the Trojans fought back in the second half, cutting the Bulldogs' lead to just two points early in the fourth quarter. I got the feeling there in the middle stages of the third quarter that they, there wasn't any way they could stop us on, on – uh, Offense. That just shows us, you know, as an offensive group that, you know, nobody that we're going to see can really stop us. But with seven minutes to go in the game, the Bulldogs opted to go for it on fourth and five from the Trojans 25 and stretch their lead back to nine with a controversial touchdown. We got a replay guy up there. I got to trust that the uh, the man uh, the man upstairs is uh, is correct. Blakeney said, however, if his team could have stopped the Bulldogs earlier in the drive, the outcome of the game could have been different. Had we been able to kick it deep, we, we got the guy tackled, and we'd, we'd got him a three and out. I, I don't have any question that we'd have been able to win the game. Although the scoreboard read that Mississippi State beat Troy, according to Robinson, it wasn't so much that the Bulldogs beat the Trojans. We've beaten Troy, uh, you know, two weeks in a row now. Uh, you know, if we take care of the football, we're three and zero right now. The the thing we've got to do is we got to learn how to beat Troy before we beat anybody else. But we are good enough to do just about anything. Danielle Percival, Troy, Church and Vision Sports.